बसमीम हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप दैट स्टेइंग सेफ एट होम एंड हैविंग द गुड यू कैन से इन्हेंसिंग योर गुड स्किल्स एट होम एंड येस इट्स अ बेस्ट टाइम टू इन्हेंस योर स्किल्स स्पेशली यू पीपल कैन हेल्प योर मदर्स इन देर किचन टास्क it's a good time to enhance your skills and it a uh, it, it is a good way to even make you yourself busy also at home yes students uh in my today's topic uh we will in particularly talk about prey and predator relationship uh from our last two three lectures we are talking about the you can say energy flow within an ecosystem and in this energy flow we know that we are having the different trophic levels and particularly we are having the four trophic levels starting from producer primary consumer secondary consumer and the tertiary consumers then we even uh, on the basis of the different food chains uh, we have studied the uh, ecological pyramids also and today in in particularly i will highlight the predator and the prey relationship okay whenever we talk about the predator and the prey relationship where uh, first of all i will tell you what is a prey prey is that animal which is been killed or hunted by an other animal for the sake of a food you can uh, take example like mouse can be a prey for a rabbit mouse can be a prey for a rabbit and in this uh, example mouse is a prey while the other side the rabbit is a predator now who is predator predator is that animal which kills the other animal for the sake of the food or the energy so in this food chain mouse is a prey while the rabbit is a predator now i will give you another example we are having the second food chain in which we are having a fox and a rabbit now in this case what is happening for a uh, rabbit is a prey because rabbit is being killed by a fox for the sake of the food so in this example the rabbit is a prey while the fox is a predator now come to an other example we are having an other example we are in the in the next example i am having the two animals one is the fox and other is a tiger so now 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 what happens now in this uh, example now fox is a prey because fox is been killed by tiger for the sake of the food and now tiger is a predator because tiger is killing or hunting the fox for the sake of the food so whenever we talk about the predator prey relationship within an ecosystem it is a very important relationship through which the energy can flow from the one trophic level to a other trophic level why it's very important because in this way in particularly which food uh, 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 chain we are talking about which animals are present in them so it depending upon the you can say uh, how much amount of the or how much number of the uh, prey are been you can say eaten by the predator it's also it's also very so this predator prey relationship is again a very important uh, you can say uh, fact to understand in this uh, uh, food chain or the energy flow of the um, uh, within an ecosystem and beside that we will come to know that we will just talk about or we will highlight that which food chains are more effective my question is that which food chains are more effective there are two kind of the food chains one a small food chain other a big food chain in which one one organism is taking the food from the uh, plants then first level trophic level second trophic level third trophic level and you know that at each trophic level half of the energy is being lost to the surrounding you people remember the non cyclic energy flow that sun is the basic source of the energy even the half of the energy sun is being waste du uh, during this whole process so 
if we just highlight this concept we will come to know that yes the small food chains are more efficient for any ecosystem because in the small food chains the amount of the energy loss is very less so i guess the this idea become very clear to you people that the small food chains are more effective than the longer food chains and my my today's topic i'm not starting with a new topic like the carbon cycle today we will just end my topic here because the predator prey relationship was very important because uh, uh, we have done the all other concepts related to it and then the uh, we are supposed to highlight the concept that which energy uh, food chain is more good so hence proof that the small food chains are more good because the amount of the energy loss in their small food chains is less for example how it's less if you people are uh, take take the example of uh, of human we people are getting the food directly from the producers like we are eating any kind of the vegetable so what is that vegetable it's coming from the producer so this is the first uh, first you can say way second way we are eating a goat goat is feeding on the grass which one is more efficient the the food chain in which we are directly eating any vegetable or the the food chain in which we are eating the goat and the goat is getting the food from the grass i i guess this, this one is more more good and efficient way of the uh, you can say energy flow from the one trophic level to an other trophic level because in the longer or the bigger food chains half of the energy is being lost in other you can say processes as well as the half of the energy is lost um, to the surrounding so i guess the my today's topic become very clear to you all and now open your book we can go for the reading of the book and we can just uh, end our topic here today with the predator prey relationship as well as which food chain is more efficient and just stay tuned with me for your written work allah hafiz